Hi Leo, welcome into a brief next 48 hour tarot reading for you. I do want to genuinely thank you so much for joining me for this reading, but as always keep in mind as we proceed with the reading that it is general uh, and it's meant to pertain to the following 48 hour period for you, beginning around when you were guided or drawn to this video, not just following when I post it. But I feel the need to mention right off the bat, um, oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, of course. Um, but right before uh, beginning the reading, I tried to start the reading and then I was pushed to stop. And in between that attempt and this one, um, I was being sung through, okay? Spirit was singing through me and I was just literally singing Leo over and over, okay? I feel like there's a focus on you. You're just um, a bit self-absorbed potentially in the next 48 in uh, potentially a healthy way, um, uh, taking care of yourself, uh, admiring yourself, uh, thinking about how to improve your looks, your, to keep your vibration higher, to bring it back up there, to feel more grounded, people focused upon you, okay, gaining attention. There's a reason why I'm doing your reading after the daily read I did for Tuesday where I was talking a lot about gaining attention um, and manifesting, okay? You're manifesting a lot at this time, but we have the extremes card and the hunger card. Yeah, that feels right. Um, and I feel like you're being protected, okay? from forces beyond your control or that you fully can't see at times could be or were working against you. But I feel like some of you are seeing things more clearly than you once were or than people think. There's a sense that you are uh, doing things quite well in the next 48, even if you can't feel that in the moment or even shortly after it. Um, you might be predictive in nature, but it feels like there is a highlight on why things or how things are feeling quite extreme in your life. You're feeling really happy one second, um, and then you're feeling kind of down in certain other moments or shortly after that, or even in between, a dip in your in your mood, your vibration, um, being affected by energy and or spirituality for some. There's a um, an extreme highlight on how things are either really peaceful in a situation, energy-wise, even, okay, mood-wise, noise-wise, and then other moments it's just kind of takes an increase, right, in a lack of that peace and serenity. Um, I do feel like there's change on the horizon on more than one level for you being drawn to this reading. And they're also saying your connection to the moon. Um, okay, they're showing coins falling from the sky. I also feel like there's an extreme, uh, highlight on the extremes of your finances. At times feeling like you just have more than enough um, and are able to save, but then there are other moments where you feel this sense of lack or just it feels like not enough is coming in. It reminds me of at times I do uh, have a ton of finances rolling in due to my readings, right? I'll get a, a huge um, influx of people wanting personal readings and then a dry spell, right? But Spirit's saying, doesn't this benefit you if you take a step back and look at it in a productive way? Okay, gives me a chance to heal. I can then focus on doing uh, YouTube readings more. Um, and you know other aspects of my life, but I just so apply it to your situation. But it feels like you're hungry for more money. You're hungry for more success. I feel like you are hungry for the right type of connection or the right type of success and progression with whoever you decide to uh, commit to moving forward or have already. Um, I feel like wholeheartedly there's a focus on what you desire, but you need more so and what you have decided to commit to and what you decided to break as far as commitments go in the past. Um, I feel like there are going to be moments in the next two days and surrounding it where you just want to scream or release uh, in one way, shape or form. You want to get your emotions out there. The best recommendation coming from Spirit is to find a way to do that without actually raising your voice or just uh, letting it kind of abruptly come out in a moment where it's potentially being labeled as inappropriate or just misplaced, right? Say something frustrates you and then you react in, uh, in the wrong manner, okay? Where you didn't mean to and you potentially will regret it afterwards because I'm being drawn to this owl here. It just feels like a lot of pent up tension in your body for some, emotions for a lot of which drawn to the reading. Again, feeling those extremes and the spirit saying it's been weighing you down or at least we'll feel this way in the next 48 and we need you to make some art, listen to music, sing if need be, um, write in a journal, okay? I'm feeling the need to say jot down your dreams if you remember them, um, even if they don't seem important in the moment. Um, 
and you might be woken up in the middle of the night to make sure that you jot that down, okay? Or to, at the very least, to make sure you analyze it to a certain extent, but get a release, okay? Get a release. Let's pull from the light seers. Um, I do feel like there's a focus on astrology in the next 48. I feel like you're potentially going to be feeling a bit judgmental at certain points. It's like, I'm not meaning to be this way, or you might be, say it's somebody of annoyance or somebody you just don't approve of or has done you dirty, um, or maybe trying to work against you for some or has in the past, even if that's not taking place throughout the next 48, it's like, uh, I'm all set with this type of person. I have that figured out at this point, okay? So there's naturally going to be a focus on the type of energies you should be and are choosing to associate oneself with, steer clear of, and you might be pushed to ask yourself, am I set up to associate myself with the right type of people moving forward? I want to meet new people. I'm hungry for different levels of connection, okay? Um, I need more love in my life but I'm so focused on my pentacles, on my abundance. I want to succeed. I'm hungry for that success, but then I don't wanna to have to um, discard uh, options for love or just new levels of success in that sense because I'm so focused on my career. So Spirit's saying the next 48 highlights the fact that you need to implement balance in that sense, okay? Weighing out options, being decisive and trusting your intuition through it all, but needing to ask yourself, do I really want this? Okay, yes, I want that perfect relationship, excuse me, perfect relationship. I want this connection to go the distance. But just because I'm so focused on my career, I'm making money on supporting myself and potentially your loved ones, doesn't mean that I can't make time, right? So a reminder to you in the next two days about yourself and other people. If you and anybody else wants to make time in regards to connecting with somebody, they will. You will, okay? I'm taking this. Um, but I feel like you're very motivated, okay? Wanting to charge forth towards more. Spirit's saying, think about how, if this is more past oriented for some, it could be in regards to something about to change moving forward or just did. Um, you wanted to up and move to that new place of residence. You wanted to move to that new job, but now something's changing to your advantage, whether you manifest it, which I feel like you are, um, or not. Um, you're going to see squirrels in the next 48 reminding you to watch your energy and to have more fun because feeling kind of overly serious, a bit pent up um, and a bit uptight at certain points anyways, but you deal with a lot. Um, or again, this could have been past oriented, uh, rewinding back, um, where it ended up changing for the better, even if it wasn't perfect in the end. Um, and so it reminds you not to make certain they're saying harsh or just kind of sporadic decisions at times that's benefited you in the past, right? Um, sure, not going to deny that or ignore that fact. But this is a time where say something needs to improve um, and it's not perfect. There may be true benefits to you just hanging on a bit longer. Okay, watch it improve. You might already before this two day period or within it be seeing evidence of the fact that there's something shifting in your favor in that situation, okay? Um, more abundance. I feel like there's peace on the horizon, but you're about to get very busy. Um, you might have Aquarius in your chart, so maybe watch that reading from yesterday. The lovers, decisions to make, my friend, thinking about love, okay, or the lack there of which in your life. Um, I'm hearing they're not for you. They're not for you. You might think about somebody from the past that you hung out with, connected to, had a crush on, uh, maybe expressed interest in you. Um, somebody has an attractive figure but isn't uh, your ideal connection for one if not multiple reasons. And I feel like for some you're thinking about how you it's kind of difficult to find that perfect somebody, right? It's like you find somebody with all of these qualities or aspects to them that just are checking off all of your desires, wishes, you know, um, to build up that perfect individual for you that perfect connection and then a red flag comes to be or something just um, doesn't work for you in the end or is a deal breaker or red flags come up right and so spirit's saying don't allow this to discourage you from uh discovering uh going out there and meeting new people bear with me because somebody just entered the house and made me a bit nervous that might happen to you <sighs> okay four of cups and the empress 
Yep, thoughts of what's not meant for you and how things are about to change for you moving forward in regards to new beginnings, giving birth to what's right for you in, I feel like, more than one area of your life. Take a deep breath, Leo, because I feel like it's gonna be a very extreme up and down, kind of all over the place next 48, but one of importance for you as your world changes for the better, all right? So if this was truly helpful, sending you so much love and light, go enjoy your next 48, and I'll definitely see you next time.